Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will do some doodles. We begin by doing scribbling motions toward the inner part of what we are doing. In this case, a figure. A female figure. This is the torso. Let's go down to draw one leg, like so, and then up, all the way to the head. The arm. This is very much like sculpting to me. You work on adding volume. But instead of with clay, you add more and more volume with ink. We do the shadow, and let's widen just a little bit more the hip. And the back. Very good! Excelente! We will do four sketches in total. Two people and two animals. Now let's draw another figure, but this time with more movement and rhythm. In this case we began by doodling the head, then down to the torso and the legs. In the first pass I usually do a thinner version, a bit of a skeleton, and then I build up on that. Like so. And then we can come back and darken more if we wish. I love drawing with fountain pens. Especially one as beautiful as this Kaweko SketchUp. The list of materials that I am using is in the information below the video. And we draw some ripples and waves as if she were in the water. Alright, what do you think? An important point of these exercises is that they look lively and loose. Ok, good, let's draw a shark. Very simplified. This is the front, the head, and here the tail, like so. We thicken it a little bit, and then the upper fin. As an artist, you should do at least a few minutes of doodling every day to loosen the hand and just to keep up. And as a human, you should also try to put in some time doodling, because research shows that it produces many benefits. By the way, next we will do a horse, a prancing horse. As I was saying, research shows that daily doodling can improve memory both short and long term. It can also increase your attention span as well as your focus and it can give you more creative insight. In general, it expands your mind. And of course, it is very helpful in working out and clarifying new ideas. When doodling, don't be too concerned about the result. Just let the pen or pencil loose and have fun. In this case, I will leave the mark lighter. I will not come back to darken it. We drew the ground, the last details, and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to find our tips. Let me know if you want more of this, and I will see you on Tuesday.